guys. So I'm going to demonstrate how to work your obliques and work your core uh, in a standing position. And I think that's important. Um, you can define basically functional training as a lot of core rotational work. And it's better if you actually get on your feet uh, and, and do some rotations using either a band or a cable as opposed to, to the floor because when you stand you start to get your legs involved, your legs work with your core, which works with your arms, so everything's all engaged. So I like to use a couple different things when I do rotational work for the abs and for the obliques. One thing you can do is use this cable right here. And I like to go right across the body. I'll have clients just turn right through with their arms straight, nice wide stance. They're going to turn through, engaging their obliques, and then come back. And I'll have them repeat that maybe 15 times. And you want to do that facing both ways, of course. Another option that I really like is if you don't have a cable at home, you can use bands. You can either use a closed loop band uh, or you can use a band that has a handle on each side. Either way, it's all good. I like the band because it tends to keep more tension on the core the whole time during the movement. So, it's the exact same movement. Arms stay straight. Use your legs. Then squat down just a bit. Engage your core. Keep your arms straight. Turn through and then come back. Again, you would do the same thing facing the other way. I like to go sets of 15 reps. And lastly, there's one more thing that you can do that's really intended for uh, stabilization of the core. And that's when you just get into the halfway position and hold it. So what you'll do is have a nice wide stance, a little wider than shoulder width. Keep your knees bent a little bit. Keep your hips square. Keep your shoulders square. And then you're just gonna press out on the band. See how I have a 90 degree angle between my arms and the band here, okay? And when you keep your body straight like that, and you hold this for about 30 seconds, you're really going to feel the obliques working really hard. And again, that's for core stability. And I recommend doing both the rotation and the anti-rotation holds. Either way, you're getting a very complete rotational oblique workout. Uh, like this and share this if you like this information. Thanks.